This little tutorial is going to teach us um, and show us how to do a fun effect with our picture of our face and do type around our my face. Okay, so first off, bring a photo up of your face, a good close crop up, crop of your face, crop up, I don't know, uh, of your face, okay, and, and hit command zero so it's nice and big on your screen, okay, so you can kind of fill your screen here with your face. Now the next thing I want you to do is just double click on the background here, turn the lock off. Now the lock means that it's locked in its position on the layers palette. So let's double click on that, hit OK, and now it's a layer itself. The next thing you want to do is make a brand new layer. So just click on new layers, you've got a new layer to work on. And today we're going to use the free form pen tool. It's right here under the pen tool. So click the free form pen tool. And then click and drag, usually from left to right because we, we read from left to right and type from left to right in America here. So I'm going to kind of draw around my head here. Doesn't be perfect, just kind of go around, just kind of stop like that. Then we're going to take our type tool, and if you mouse right over the, the beginning of that, you're going to see the mouse change. See how that changes right there? That's going to follow, the type's going to follow that area. So click once, okay? And then your type font um, size, Probably around 45 point would be good. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Black, left justified. Okay. And then I'm going to start typing. This is a fun way to learn how to follow lines um, around my head. Exclamation point. All right. Now, if your type is really small and it's not big like mine, then you can make it larger. Just click along that and just highlight the type that goes along that freeform pen. And then you can change the, the point size. So you can click on here and change it. Now, since we're using type, we're going to use what I love, and that is called the toggle, the font toggle. Click on that, and you've got all of these adjustments here you can make with your fonts. I'm going to put them over here so you can see it quite well. All right, so I'm using Tahoma. Um, I can click across that, just highlight your, your type font here or here, either one, okay? And then use your arrows on your keyboard to scroll through the different types of fonts. So you can make it bigger and smaller, okay? Different kinds of fonts, okay? And then um, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll use, um, that one looks good, okay? I'll use that font. And then we can make it larger, so we can click across it here and then this is a good way to do it. Click right next to the point size, and then you can drag and make them bigger and smaller. So just kind of fill the area, which is kind of nice, all right? And then when you're done, hit the check mark. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to, after we're done with our type here, let's turn off of our picture or turn the opacity down of our picture so we can kind of see that type better. Okay, so turn that down a little bit. You can see the type better here. Or we can just turn off the eyeball here to not see your background so you can see your type. Okay, once you like your type, click on it once and right click on this blue area and rasterize your type. Now it's stuck that way, we can go to the move tool and move, move it around. Okay, it's stuck that way forever. All right. Next thing I want you to do is make another new layer. Take your free form pen tool. Okay. And then click and drag along another area of your, your head or whatever, your features. And then take your type tool, click right on the line once, and then um, also I can type along my hair line and show this. Okay, and then it's all there. Again, we just need to select it all, and then you can use your type font smaller and bigger to see it all. Okay, so you can kind of get it there. And if you want to make it a different type face, you can. I'm going to put a 40 point, a little bit bigger than that. And then check mark. And then right click on this blue area, rasterize the type, and then turn yours off so you can see that. Okay. Do some more. Make another new layer. Okay, so make sure you rasterize it before you start. Preform pen tool. I'm going to follow my, my glasses here. And then type tool, click right on the line. 
And then this is, oops, this is my glasses. And shapes, okay, whatever. And again, it's all there again. You just need to select it all and go a smaller type font. You can do it up here or you can do it over here. I kind of like getting used to doing things over here. Go down to like 35 point and it's all there and I can make it bigger by selecting across it and again dragging here making it bigger and smaller check mark right click rasterize now one thing fun to do this and turn it off and see eventually you're going to see my whole outline you're gonna be able to see it's me eventually but it's a bunch of fun type one thing fun to maybe do with this uh, little idea is to um, do like a lyrics of a song might be kind of fun so go find some fun lyrics of a song and put it around your your head and your features um, you know your your eyes here like your eyeballs you might want to just click once with the regular type tool not even follow a, a preform and just put like a zero in there and then do another one over here type tool and another you know zero or something or an O and then again when you turn it off now you've got you know fun eyeballs it might be kind of fun to do it that way or you can follow your eye, eyelid, eyelid, you know, and then around my glasses and around my nose. And so follow everything as you go here. Right clicking to rasterize each one. So see, what it does now is it makes these a actual um, picture. So if I hit Command T, I can resize that. I can change it a little bit. I can always change its color. So I can come down here to my effects, color overlay and uh, make it a different color you know so you can get real creative with this and again again you turn off your your picture here and you're gonna see what you want to see all right so one more here I'll just do one more just to emphasize what I'm doing here freeform tool um, I can click around my chin here and I do little spots and areas and then click right along the line and this is my chin my hairy <laughs> Carly, hairy uh, chin, and this is a fun tool. Whatever. And then again, turn things off. Kind of see it there. When you like it, go rasterize that type. Right click, rasterize it, and ready to move on. And eventually, you're going to see it's you. It's going to be a fun uh, design using words and your face. And eventually, I just want you to turn it off like this. And then when you're done, you're going to go to Layer, Flatten Image, hit OK. And you'll have a fun design here. And you want to put your name down on the bottom. I'll just put down you know, Mr. Crandall. And that's the uh, project, is words with face, or words on face. Okay. Have fun making that.